What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm gonna to show you what's in my DOP kit. All right, so this is my DOP kit. It is uh, leather, it is by Frank Clegg. This is the small size. I love uh, Frank Clegg stuff. It's extremely high quality, and um, it only gets better with age. So let's open it up. All right, deodorant. This uh, is honestly my favorite deodorant. This is um, Arm & Hammer, it's unscented. Uh, so a lot of deodorants I found in the past have kind of like get sticky and stuff, but, but this one doesn't smell um, and it dries really well and doesn't have that same stickiness to it. Sonicare toothbrush. Q-tips. Alka seltzer, you never know. Maybe you wake up with a headache or something. Little scissors. Tweezers. Comb. This is um, our Abbey Horn dressing comb. It's made with natural horn. Um, just has a really cool look to it. It's very durable. Um, I've had this one for Geez, I don't know, um, over a year for sure. Um, and it's still going strong. Exciting, floss. Oh, some grooming stuff. <clears throat> so I am a really big fan of Aesop products. Um, this is the uh, Mandarin Facial Hydrating Cream. Um, Aesop is a little pricey and it can seem even more pricey when you consider the size of, of the, the bottles and, and everything, but um, from experience, I've used this for a very long time, it lasts a lot longer than the size would indicate. Um, I've had this bottle maybe for about a month, um, and it's not even half gone, and I use it twice a day. So, um, really great stuff from Aesop. I also have from Aesop, this is the um, Moroccan Neroli Post Shave Lotion. Um, again, uh, you can see it's not that big, but I've been using this for a month, believe it or not, and it's still a ton left. Actually, I haven't been using it recently because I've been letting my beard grow, but still, even if I use it daily, it lasts a very long time. I would say from this little bottle, I get about maybe two or maybe three months, depending depending on how much I use. And you really don't need to use a lot of it at all. So I've gone through many, many different products when it comes to hair um, product. And this is the Imperial Classic Pomade. This is the one I've been using the most recently. Um, I finally figured out how to make it work uh, with my hair. And um, I love the hold that it has and you know, later on, if I run my fingers through my hair, it still um, keeps the, the um, styling that I have, but it feels natural. And that's a big, big thing for me. Yeah. Advil, you know. Here is the uh, shaving soap that I use. This is uh, Pro Razo. Again, like, the reason I love using a, a shaving soap as opposed to a shaving cream is it lasts forever. I've had this this same uh, soap for, geez, how long has it been? Maybe five or six months, and you can see that there's still so much left. Um, it's fantastic. I love the, um, it's got a little bit of a tingle to it. Um, I, I like, it lathers very well. I like this, it's not too thick. Um, yeah, it works really well and I'm, I'm happy with it. And it lasts forever. Um, I do like to shave with a safety razor. Um, and this is the razor that I use. Um, this is by Mula. This is the Chrome uh, razor. And it actually comes with a nice little, little pouch as well. I've been using a safety razor for a really long time, uh, six or seven years. Um, it's really uh, cost effective and I like sort of 
um, the old school feel of, of shaving with a safety razor. Now, if you use a safety razor and a shaving soap, you need a shaving brush. This is also, um, this is a shaving brush. It's a travel shaving brush, also by Mula. Um, it's really cool. You just unscrew the, the cap here and the brush pops out and screws in the top right there. And uh, it's, a really good, it's a really good brush for travel because if you've ever tried to travel with a shaving brush, you know that like if you were gonna put it in your dop kit, um, the bristles could, could get really damaged and, and, and move around and you, know, you could just really ruin the shaving brush. And this kind of solves that problem when you're done with it. Let it dry out and then when you pack it up, you just unscrew both ends. And there you go. Plus it's got like a nice kind of heavy feel to it. Um, it just looks really cool as well. Really awesome product. Okay, I, even, even though I consider myself um, pretty advanced when it comes to um, shaving with a safety razor, I occasionally will nick myself. And the best um, styptic that I found is this, this liquid styptic by Infolab. Um, a little bit on the finger, dab, and it will, you, if you cut yourself, it will stop bleeding immediately. I've tried like other, like a styptic pencil, or um, you know, they have like styptic powder. The, both of those um, I don't like. It, they definitely work really fast, but they, they, the white, the styptic pencil leaves like a white residue, which, which I didn't like. You know, you just kind of want to stop the bleeding and get out of the house, and you don't want to have this white residue. Same thing with the styptic powder. It, was, it would leave kind of like a brown mark, and uh, it would get on my collar. Didn't like it. This, very simple, it works right away, leaves no residue, it's the best. Oh, and so for the safety razor, you need to have blades, and I prefer the feather blades. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.